course, you know, starting off recording on the phone, I was, you know, selfie the videos throughout the band more. I'd be, you know, makeshift things with propping the phone, stacking shoe boxes up and sitting shit for the phone to look at me, so on and so forth. And then I start, you know what I'm saying, getting in touch with people that could assist with, you know what I'm saying, the camera work. Shout out to Cold View Films. I work with him a lot. Shout out to PG as well. Those are two main people that I've been working with over the course of the years um, that'll come assist me. I know Cold View. You know, he, he shoots all my music videos and, you know, I've called him on many a night. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, what's this? Who out the band? Like, and he'll just educate me on a lot of the more intricate um, parts of editing. But as far as like editing the Chicago videos, I still haven't allowed anyone to do that. As far as any of the videos, like I still edit everything on my own. I know a lot of people, you know, around me they definitely suggest that I do start having some people to, you know, come in on the editing. But, you know, as the saying goes, like when you want something done right, you do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I've been, you know, working, you know, educating myself more on the color wheel and all that. Because at first I was just throwing LUTs on shit like, fuck it, y'all. But now, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to play with the color wheel and the saturation hues a little bit. We'll out the bam and, you know, and I've also, you know, realized the importance of lighting. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I've made a significant investment into the lighting as well. Um, but I do have, you know, like Kobe and PG, for example, where I have people come, they'll hold the camera for me. Motherfuckers that understand the camera, understand angles, and I just direct on how to, you know what I'm saying, put it over the shoulder for conversation shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna use the 85, cause it's tight. If we want the tight shot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if it's in the car, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, those shots is, is close, those shots is close up, so we're gonna use the 24, you know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 shit like that. So, man, like, I just been, you know, kind of working in that fashion. As far as when I'm gonna have somebody to come in and do the edit, I couldn't even tell you. I'm just obsessed with, you know what I'm saying, piecing everything together on my own. As far as, like, the different platforms and um, revenue, one one popular, you know what I'm saying, question that I just want to answer randomly because a lot of people ask me this question. And that is, you know, motherfuckers say, oh, you got a million views, you're rich. Like, you know what I'm saying? How does how do you get paid? If you get a million views, how much money is that? I've seen people, you know, put shit up like a million views equals fifteen hundred, a million views equals five thousand, like let me let me just clear all that up and explain like you know what i'm saying how complex it is to calculate how much money is made off a video you can have two videos right you'll have one video with a million views and you'll have one video with 500,000 views and the video with 500,000 views will make more money than the video with a million views and of course a motherfucker would be like how now we're talking about why, how long the video is. But see, this is, this is where it could even get more complex. You can have a 500,000 view video that is 20 minutes long and a 1 million view video that is 30 minutes long and the 500,000 view video still make more than a million view video. But that's because now once you get deeper into it, now we're talking about watch time. The watch time on that 500,000 view video is higher than the watch time on that 1 million view video and watch time being like the amount of time that people are actually actively watching the video, that audience retention, you know what I'm saying, as it's calculated. And so over, of course, at times, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm, oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was the, I ain't gonna say the YouTubers' names and, um, you know, blast they ass, but it's some motherfuckers I reached out to to get some insight on shit. They ain't respond, woo, woo, but I know how that shit go. I don't be responding to motherfuckers either, so, you know, we all not responding to some motherfucking body, but, you know, I just went and did the, uh, the research on my own and just kind of did a lot of trial and error, and then it's just like, Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So even now, like I'm looking to make my Black Chicago be like narrated stories even longer. At one point they was about eight or nine. Then they start being about 13, 
14 minutes. Now I'm looking to them to be more like an hour. Um, the next video is actually going to be about 35, 36 minutes long. And it's the longest video that I've done. Um, and that came about as a result of me actually um, doing something that people have been asking me to do for a while. And that's write a script. All of the videos, I write them all. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's off the top. Like, I always feel like the shit that I come with off the top is just better. We show up, I already have, like, the shell of the video. But when it's time to record, I say this. Look like this. I'm going to say this. What the bam. Like, I just feel like when it's all, some of the most wittiest shit, the funniest shit, come off the top. And what people don't know is that my ability to put words together and my rapping ability is really what contributes to the success of the screenwriting of the videos. Because even when, you know how I be, I be spitting bars to bitches, you feel me? Like, that's rap. That's poetry, you feel me? It was a video Shorty had on one of them shiny coats. She had on a shiny coat, like, you know what I'm saying? I, off the top, I tell Shorty what she is. Since you got on a garbage bag, you should let me take you out. That's poetry. You hear me? Like, spitting that G to him. I don't be playing around. This is on camera and in real life while spitting G. You hear me? So it's just kind of like all that shit just contributes to great content. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this time, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to write this shit down. So I wrote out an outline. Normally, when I do the shell, the shell video, the shell of a video in my head is three to five scenes. I wrote it down this time, and it was 16 scenes. I'm like, well, I be damned. This is what happens when you actually take the time out to write the shit. And I'm typing in my little notepad on my shit. Ooh. I'm like, this shit raw as hell, boy. I'm writing out all these fucking videos now. Like, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I be forgetting scenes and I be like, damn. Now I have everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo. So with me writing it out, it came out to 35, 36 minutes. So now when I do part two, I know I need to write out 30 scenes to ensure that this motherfucker is going to be an hour long. I'm super excited about putting out Black Chicago Be Like Power 104 because the fucking, the storyline is so nasty. I'm talking about on some, <laughs> Tyler Perry could never, respectfully. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I really put a lot of work into the storyline. It's a wild ass plot twist at the end. Like you it's <laughs> that shit funny as hell. And even in part two, motherfuckers is not going to expect what the fuck is happening. Shout out to um Brazil Marie. I got my oldest baby in this video, and I got my youngest baby, Iceland Dior. She in the video as well. In the and she's the child that's kidnapped in the video. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it at that.